Now it's not really fair to talk about the shortcomings of elimination methods unless we talk about uh, some of the ways that we can avoid uh, shortcomings. So uh, the first thing uh, we will just mention of round off error is uh, we could just use uh, use higher precision. Okay, that's a, as we talked about before uh, in the in the previous chapter. We learn that is the only general remedy uh, for for problems. Uh, with round off error. If you just use higher precision it will help across the board. Uh, there's other other little tricks. Uh, scaling. Um, we could also scale uh, to improve. Uh, but, but in particular I want to mention uh, pivoting. Uh, so what can happen? So let me give an example here. So let's say, and, and that can help our division by zero here too. So let's say I've got a matrix and it's like um, maybe 28, 0, 1, uh, 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 15, uh, 3, um, uh, 7, 2, uh, 5, uh, uh, let's say 0, well, uh, yeah, one, zero. Okay, so here, for example, is a system where we know right off the bat if we just start applying Gauss elimination, we're going to have some serious problems because that coefficient is zero, and this was our matrix A. Uh, that that coefficient is zero. If we if we just start going with gas elimination we're in some serious serious trouble here and so what we can do is we can uh, do what's called pivoting and so we're trying to solve this system AX equals B but instead of solving the system AX equals B what if we solve the system PAX equals P uh, B where P is a permutation matrix and a permutation matrix, as you, as you um, may recall from, from the discussion, uh, on permutation matrices is, is just a matrix that swaps either the rows or the columns. And so this is fantastic. So all we have to do then, uh, let's, say, uh, let's say that PA, then uh, PA, if I, if I get the right permutation matrix, uh, that, that could be uh, 28. Let's put that in the first row, 28. Uh, 15, uh, not not 15. Excuse me. 28, 7, 2. Let's put that in the first row. We should probably put this in the second row. That's 5, 1, 0. Because that way we don't have that zero down there on the main diagonal. That'd be really bad. Uh, and then we go uh, 0, uh, 15, 3. Okay. And if PA equals that, then we would be okay. Uh, we also just need to know that we need to apply P to B. So then we, we're actually changing the problem. We're, cha we're solving the problem PA equals PB, as I wrote here. So that then uh, may be an easier problem. And in this case, uh, we can just figure it out. P then would equal, um, well, let's see. We, uh, we want the second row in the first space. Bought. So we apply a 1. So we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And you can multiply that and see that we'll get just what we want. We can multiply that by P by B and that'll that'll change it there but then we've got a problem that we can solve so that is Gaussian elimination uh, with pivoting and 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 of course that addresses this problem some of these some of these problems in particular um, it, it, it mostly uh, it addresses this division by zero uh, issue but it also helps it also helps in the other cases because um, it also can help the conditioning. Um, well, it doesn't really help the condition in general, but but it does help the method be less prone to round off error as well. So, 
anyway, so that's that's um, pivoting.